erosion is part of natural's or Earth's natural kind of cycle, but humans are certainly amplifying the rate of erosion with climate change. So yeah, it's it's natural, but also not natural. So we'll continue to watch those homes in Rodanthe that are right now sitting in the Atlantic Ocean. Right now, we can look at our weather stem time lapse cam from today. It was another beautiful Chamber of Commerce October day across the area. We did top out well above average at 80 degrees and started off above average as well. And right now it's um, pretty st it's still warm for this time of year, 62 degrees in Charlotte right now and this time of the evening. Look at you, Jefferson. You're sitting at 63 degrees as well. So kind of no matter where you're at, up in the high country, across areas of the foothills and into the Piedmont, everybody is pretty warm out there. We'll see clear skies as we head through the overnight hours. 58 degrees, I think I'm going to go a little bit lower than that for that low temperature with that low occurring right around 7 o'clock. Probably a lot of us going to be about 56 degrees out there tomorrow morning. Mid 60s for the high country, still plenty of sunshine out there for tomorrow in the foothills, mid 70s, the Piedmont upper 70s. So we might not make it to 80 degrees. We had a very weak cold frontal boundary that pushed across the area. Of course, you probably didn't even notice it because it didn't even bring us much in the way of cloud cover out there. Our next cold front will roll through this weekend. I'm not totally sold on the 20% rain chance. I'm just giving you a 20. It might be 10% right now. A few computer models are showing isolated rain showers for Saturday and then heading into Sunday as well. But the biggest story this weekend is going to be that huge temperature drop. We go from 83 degrees on Saturday to 66 degrees on Sunday. So we do see that 17 degree temperature drop, uh, partly sunny skies as we head through the day on Sunday. So we will be a little bit chilly out there as we head through the end of the weekend, but that's not going to be the trend. Heading toward Halloween, these temperatures really jump up and we could see highs on Halloween day near 80 degrees. And I actually think this could be one of the warmest Halloweens that we've seen at least since 2019. In 2019, that was actually the second warmest or the third rather warmest Halloween on record where we hit 83 degrees. I don't think we'll make it there, but just heads up. This is a really early heads up for those kiddos and their Halloween. Halloween costumes, you might not want to totally layer them up because it does look like it's going to be pretty warm. Of course, overnight lows will drop. We're not going to be 80 as the kids are trick or treating, but it's still going to be a warm one. A pretty dry forecast continues. This is going down as one of the driest Octobers on record. This comes after a decent dose of rain the last several months. So and one part it's OK, but we do still need to continue to see a little bit of rain in the forecast, Gary. That 20% is kind of pushing it as we head through the weekend. Yeah, and going back to Halloween, that is a delicate balance right there. You don't <laughs> want it to be too hot for the kids, but you also don't want it to be so cold they have to put jackets over top. Uh, over their costumes. Yeah. I know. I think that 